All right, I've been kind of on a losing streak with uh, geodes, so I uh, poured some hearts for Valentine's Day, and I finally mastered the art of anodization, and here's some of the results of it. Uh, uh, this is 18 volts versus 27 volts, uh, quite a big difference. Anything beyond 27, the uh, bismuth becomes very... Uh, 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 for lack of a better word, somewhat corroded. It almost feels like it's going to peel off. So uh, 27 is about the highest it will go. Uh, but, you know, when I sing the jingle, why the fuck? I really mean it. I'm not trying to be boastful. But, um, for, for lack of a better let's put it this way. Imagine tomorrow I'm going to go into a time machine and travel a million years into the future and um, I gotta pack my bags there's a limited amount of weight I can pack in there I would probably bring some bismuth I might bring some silver too but I, I wouldn't just jam it all with gold or silver or even platinum I think bismuth has a lot of utility and I think a lot of humans have just uh, kind of misplaced their value system kind of like we did with Bitcoin not that long ago right kind of like we did with um, housing prices right um remember last year how you list a house and you immediately get an offer that was two million dollars more than what you listed for gold and silver and platinum have a feeling of that compared to bismuth and tellurium and indium and uh, even aluminum and uh, what else have i been playing with uh uh i want to melt some other metals too but Given how messy bismuth is, like I'll literally I'll go to go to bed and um, there there will be like bismuth shavings like all over the place and uh, microscopic, and um, it just makes me worry if I do something that's a little bit more toxic than bismuth, right? Uh, anyway, um, but um, I, I I'm thinking about melting tellurium at some point. Hopefully, uh, I have some time off of work, and then I'll do it at the beginning of the break, just in case I mess up. Because if you get exposed to tellurium, apparently it makes your body smell really bad. But um, another thing that happened today is uh, there was a shoot down of some kind of UFO, and it gave me some more inspiration that maybe one day we can. Uh, when we finally do execute Putin, I have an idea of a poison we could use on him, polonium-210. And that gets back to how uh, Poland had helped the Ukrainian refugees. And I think as one last thing that Poland can do, they could use their trademark invention to finally execute Putin. And polonium-210 can be made from bismuth. So if bismuth is launched into outer space, and I'm activated by neutron radiation high up in the atmosphere, right? I'm thinking some kind of a magnifying glass that will concentrate neutrons. And can you imagine one of these is gl glowing in the dark as it's coming down from the Kremlin, right? Nobody would suspect it was an assassination, right? And then it lands onto the Kremlin and shatters into a million pieces. And, and uh, Russia becomes, or at least the Kremlin be area becomes completely uninhabitable for at least a year or two, right? All right. Why the fuck? Would you buy silver when you can buy a hundred times more bismuth?